Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. I've done a video on how to produce this shape that I call a shield or a, like a medieval shield or a, even a state sign because you can you can change it and make it squattier. And I'm going to just go over that, but I'm going to show you how to draw this shape. Take any size ellipse. Let me zoom in here. Hit the plus key on your keyboard while holding down your control button. Have it snap to that quadrant. Plus key on your keyboard after you select it, both of them and go right here. There's that shield right there already, but you can keep holding down the control button and give it a different shape by adding a little bit of height to it. So there's that shield made with whoop, made with uh, circles. So to make this one, take a polygon, make it a three-sided, doesn't matter what size, and hit P, put it in the center of the page. That doesn't really matter either. But then we need to measure this distance right here. So I'm going to get my parallel dimension tool, and I'm going to go from that node to that node, and I am 11.27. So now I'm going to take an ellipse, and I'm going to type in 11.27 times 2. And that gives me ellipse of that shape. I'm going to put it right there, and you're going to see it's going to meet the bottom. I hit the plus key on the keyboard, put it on that node, hit the plus key on the keyboard, and put it on that node. And then, voila, you take your smart fill tool, and you've drawn a, uh, kind of reminds me of a Mazda motor. But you can always, you know, turn it upside down and make it look right. And there's from probably some things you can do with that um, emblem or shield or whatever you want to call it. But that's drawing shapes with circles. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.